Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to install RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or 0 using a Mac. I'm going to go over installing RetroPie to your SD card and transferring ROMs from your Mac computer over network to your Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. First thing you're going to need is an SD card. I have a 16 gigabyte SanDisk Orange Class 10 SD card and it's inserted into my Mac now. We're going to open up a browser. I'm using Safari. Now it used to be that installing RetroPie on Mac was a big pain until this application came along. This is Etcher. You will need OS X 10.9 or higher to use this. And I am on 10.10.5. I'm just going to download for Mac OS X. While that's downloading, let's go ahead and get the RetroPie image. All the links will be in the description for you. If you're wanting to install to a Raspberry Pi 1 or 0, you'll need to download this image. If you want to install to a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, you'll need to download this image. I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 3 in this tutorial. Just click on that. It's going to download for us. Now we'll go to our downloads folder and Etcher is downloaded for me and I've actually already downloaded RetroPie 4.1 for my Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. It's 2 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and install Etcher. Double click on the Etcher application or the Etcher DMG. You can skip this if you'd like to. We're just going to take Etcher, place it right into our applications. There we have it. Now I definitely recommend going up here to the Etcher logo, right click, eject. That way we don't get that confused with the real application. I'm gonna take this from my applications menu and I'm just gonna drag it down here and it's already here for me. I'm gonna open up Etcher. On the first launch, it will prompt you, yes, do you wanna open it? This is a safe application, it works great. Very simple GUI. What we're going to do is select the RetroPie image that we downloaded. So click on Select Image. It should open your Downloads folder. If it doesn't, you can just navigate to your Downloads. Here's my RetroPie 4.1 for the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3.img. Double click. Now we need to select our SD card. Be careful when selecting a drive. Make sure you choose your mass storage device. If you have an external hard drive hooked up to your Mac, go ahead and unplug it before you even open this up. Mine is here, 16 gigabytes. Continue, and we're gonna click Flash. We'll need to input our password. Press Enter. It's going to flash the image to the SD card and verify all of the files on the SD card when it's done. Let it sit. The speed of this really depends on the speed of your SD card. So if you have a slow SD card, it could take a while. Sit back and relax and let this finish up. Okay, now that the flash is complete, all we need to do is take our SD card out of our Mac, place it into our Raspberry Pi, plug in our controller of choice. I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller. I also suggest using Ethernet. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 has built-in Wi-Fi, so if you wanna connect with Wi-Fi, you can do that. The Raspberry Pi 1, 2, and 0 need a Wi-Fi dongle in order to connect to your Wi-Fi network. We're gonna to move to our Raspberry Pi, we're gonna set up our controller, then we're gonna come back to our Mac so we can transfer our ROMs to the Raspberry Pi over network. Let's go to the Pi now. All right, so our Raspberry Pi is now booted up. As you can see, it's detected my one gamepad. This is a wired Xbox 360 controller. We're gonna go ahead and follow the on-screen prompts to set the controller up. As you can see, there's no emulators on screen right now. This is new with RetroPie 4.0. We need to add ROMs to the corresponding emulator folders for them to show up. If you want to connect to Wi-Fi, you'll enter the RetroPie menu here. Scroll down to Wi-Fi, 
and set your Wi-Fi up. Very simple to do. You will need a keyboard to put your password in. I'm connected with Ethernet, so I have nothing to worry about. I'm on the same exact router or the same network as my Mac. I'm going to leave this running. We're going to move back to the Mac. I'm going to show you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi over network and transfer your ROMs to the correct folders. When we come back, we'll reboot the Raspberry Pi one time and we should have our emulators on screen. Let's go back to the Mac. Okay, we're back at the Mac. My Mac is connected to the same network as my Raspberry Pi and I have a few ROMs on my desktop here. Genesis, N64, Neo Geo, and SNES. This is just so I can quickly transfer some ROMs to show you how this works. Now this link will be in the description. This is transferring ROMs. There is a USB stick method and I don't like using this because I just find it much easier to transfer over network. So if we're on a Mac, we need to find our Go menu and connect a server. Very easy to do. You can copy this right here if you don't want to type it out. This is what we're going to need to put into our connect to server. And in order to find Go, click on your desktop. Up at the very top here, Go. At the very bottom, connect to server. And we're just going to input this right in here. We're going to click connect. You may receive this screen here. I suggest going to guest and connect. So from here we have our BIOS folder, configs, ROMs, and splash screens. Now some emulators require BIOSes and I will leave a link to the RetroPie wiki. You can find everything you need to know about RetroPie in the wiki. Read through it. It's definitely worth it. We're going to focus on the ROMs folder. Click OK. Now from here, I'm just going to turn this into a list here. And all you need to do is find the corresponding ROM folder. And I'm going to open up my ROMs here on my computer, on my Mac. I'll go into my Genesis folder and find Genesis on my Raspberry Pi. Genesis. I'm going to copy these, transfer them right there. They're going to copy over to my Raspberry Pi. Next, I'm going to transfer some Nintendo 64 games. So we'll find our N64 folder on our Raspberry Pi. Grab a couple N64 games and drag them in there. Now, I know I'm going to get tons of questions on which systems require BIOSes. What format does the game need to be? Everything you need to know is in the RetroPie wiki page. I will leave a link down below. Go ahead and read through that. If you can't find it there, you can come back and ask me. Neo Geo, we'll find our Neo Geo folder on our Raspberry Pi. And finally, SNES, our SNES folder on our Raspberry Pi, and we'll take some SNES ROMs and place them in there. So now that we have games on our Raspberry Pi, we're gonna move back. We're gonna reboot Emulation Station or reboot RetroPie one time, and our emulators should show up on the front screen. So since I only put in Genesis, Nintendo 64, Neo Geo, and SNES, these are the only emulators that will show up on the front menu. Let's move to the Pi now. We're back at the Pi. All we need to do is press start on our controller, scroll down to quit, and restart emulation station. Yes, when it restarts, we should see Genesis, N64, SNES and Neo Geo on my front screen. Click yes. And here we are. In other parts of the world, the Sega Genesis was known as the Mega Drive. So I have Mega Drive, N64, Neo Geo, and Super Nintendo. We're going to go into our Super Nintendo emulator. And all we have is a list of games now. You can choose these and play right now. If you want artwork, I will leave a link in the description on how to set up artwork. It's very easy to do. I don't use the built-in scraper right here because it takes too long. I have another tutorial on how to do it and it works flawlessly. Let's just start Joe and Mac. And there you have it guys. That's how you install and set up RetroPie using your Mac. 
Very simple to do. I will leave links to everything I mention in the description for you guys. If you press start and select, it will exit the game for you. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you need to know which systems require BIOSes and what ROMs go where, I will leave a link to the RetroPie wiki page. I cannot stress enough to read that. Read through it. It's very long, but if you want to use this, you need to read it. Like always, thanks for watching.